Alan Dale from Gale Force Winds. What an absolute great time I've been having here at DevSec 2024. Beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia. Thanks to our friends at Cisco for bringing this conversation alive. You know, I don't know how DevSec could get any better. It's every year something new is added to the mix to make it even more exciting to attend. The people love coming here, but yet you keep taking it up a notch. What do we got in store for next year? It is fun to start to look ahead. Um, growth for the sake of growth, just getting bigger is not what we want to do. We want growth in the right directions and with following the trends, following innovation, following what's next. And so really what's next in the world is, as we've seen from conflicts overseas, that autonomous vehicles are really starting to dominate the fighting space, mm -hmm. the innovation. What, what, what took place in the Middle East, what takes place in Ukraine over the last while, well, we've seen that real life example of how that's starting to move in that direction. We've been following it for a long time. Experts like Patrick from Speary have been living it and developing it for a long time. So at DevSec, we've decided to jump in with a partnership with Speary Robotics, and we are actually going to start holding uh, drone shows, autonomous vehicle shows uh, here at DevSec Atlanta. Wow. Patrick, give me the 11 second elevator pitch on Speary. What is it you do? We make robots, we make them autonomous, as Colin's alluding to, and they're designed for use in defense and environmental monitoring and infrastructure and other uh, emerging end uses. So our interest in autonomy is very a very deep part of what we offer, and uh, one of the reasons we're so excited to be mm. co-sponsoring this event with, uh, with Colin. Patrick, could you give me the event in a snapshot? How do you envision it playing out from your point of view? Well, this is a place where people working on autonomous behaviors and capabilities for vehicles such as drones or, or, or land or surface ones can showcase what they're up to. And what we are going to do for the inaugural show, the 2025 show, is provide common platform, common hardware platforms for people to show their payloads and their software in a competition that will happen here. A competition. So do you envision things flying somewhere here in this building, well, Colin? Absolutely. So that's exactly what we're exploring is the appropriate space to safely and in a way that can be showcased to the attendees to think of it like a NASCAR race. Everybody gets the same parameters for their car, okay. but who drives it the best? Right. So on our advertising postcard, it's what will you teach it was our tagline. Right. So if you can teach it, yeah, what will you teach it? So you all get the same package. And what do you do with it? How do you program it? How do you maximize its capability so you make it perform the best? So it's a competition of innovation and programming within the same safe parameters inside the building. And we get our attendees to be able to watch that take place. And that's a competition in that regard. What kind of companies are you looking to join in the mix and maybe new to the game? What kind of companies? Well, are you this looking? is going to be universities. Yes, uh, universities, uh, teams that meet the pre-qualification conditions to, to, to be part of it. They can be academic. They could come from uh, companies. They could come from any uh, place in the world that uh, NATO Diana is involved in. Right, okay, well this is fantastic. So basically what we're talking about here is an incredible collaboration between industry and academia to sort of see what's out there, see what's in the art of the possible. And for the students, what an incredible opportunity to kind of put their stuff to test in front of the people that can really use it. Exactly right, so to be able to get ahead of the incredible potential of the NATO Diana headquarters being here in Halifax, so North American wide, the headquarters is in Halifax. It's going to draw a lot of attention to Halifax, and DevSec is where Halifax takes. The DevSec is is in Halifax. So what we're going to do is bring those people together, create this competition, and an an air of getting ahead, um, oper offering 32 countries the opportunity to participate in it, and um, really make something fun and interesting because we're reaching back into the talent pipeline for high schools and universities to come and experience some of DevSec. Some of them are out there on the floor right now on Thursday afternoon, um, getting a taste of what the event looks like from Nova Scotia Community College, Dalhousie University. And so this is one more way to grab attention of leading emerging industries um, and creating that competition at the same time. I yeah. mean, what a, uh, what a very sophisticated way to sort of close a loop. Most of the companies in there, if you were to uh, sort of ask them their number one challenge, 
it's all around workforce. It's all around finding top talent. And what you're about to do is put top talent in front of them. Absolutely. Right? And have top talent sort of have a look at industry and industry have a look at them. What an that's, incredible thing. That's absolutely right. And in terms of the talent, making them aware of what's out there for them and the yeah. challenges they could be involved in and get excited about. Guys, yeah. this is going to be quite an event. Uh, we certainly look forward to that in 2025. Well, thankfully, we have 12 months to plan. There you go. <laughs> Thanks both for being on, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks, Thank Al. you.